Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then welcome to my channel. So in today's video we are talking about a few makeup products which have been reaching out a lot these days because of summer basically it's very very hot these days and um, I find that these products have been helping quite a bit. So I thought of sharing um, all these products in this video. Also um, this might be my new temporary background for a while because I know that one where I have orange wall is kind of too harsh on the eyes so that's why I've switched also I'm wearing a pink lipstick which lipsticks I'm wearing a pink lipstick which I never do but then I feel like I look so pink today because I'm wearing a pink t-shirt as well um, not that any of you wanted to know all of these unnecessary information but I just I don't know why I address all these things anyways um, uh, all I'm trying to say is I hope that I'm not looking too on your face kind of distracting I hope I hope not um, anyways without any further ado let's get started so first I'm gonna talk about uh, makeup products which I have and then I have only two skincare products so we'll talk about those at the end of the video all of these products which I'm discussing in this video you might agree with me that yes these might be you know summer essentials and you might not but again these are my picks for the summers um, so let's start so the first one is this this is the L'Oreal Matte Magique 12 hour bright matte foundation now if you guys love uh, using BB cream then go for it I'm no way um, you know asking you guys to go ahead and buy this just for the sake of surviving this season uh, I'm not doing that but I just want to talk about this because this is the foundation which I've been using the most these days. If you guys have watched my review on this, you might be knowing that I'm not a biggest fan of this foundation. I've also done a comparison of this versus Maybelline Fit Me. Um, so again, in that video as well, I've explained that this um, just, you know, brings forward all of the imperfections on your skin if you have any texture or if you have any dry patches this uh, emphasizes those so the only reason i've been using this uh, these days is because it has a completely matte finish which means i don't have to set uh, my base with a translucent powder or with a compact so i'm literally cutting down one extra step and one extra layer on my face and also this uh, relatively lasts longer um, for example, if you have watched my comparison video, you would see that this one lasted much longer than Maybelline Fit Me. Again, Maybelline Fit Me is also a great choice, uh, but it is not as matte and I feel like sometimes I do have to set it. And also it does not last as long as this one. Now having said that, if you have dry skin, I wouldn't recommend you this. Um, I don't think this is very dry skin friendly instead go for Maybelline fit me or even pack foundation is a really good option but since I do have normal to oily skin uh, this goes well now the way I have been handling the exaggeration of my imperfections is by using a silicone primer so what I do is when I know that I have um, you know texture on my t-zone I just use that primer first and then I go over with it so that way things look a little better again it does not you know look perfect on the skin if you do have texture but I mean I've been managing that way using a primer so yeah this is a good foundation um, if you do have this and you did not like it for the same reason as me um, I would say give this a go at this time of the year because this is the first thing which I would recommend only if you want a matte face if you don't love a matte face no 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 and again if you have oily skin good option if you have dry skin again not a good option for dry skin i would suggest um maybelline fit me or like pack foundation um yes also the glam girls foundation which i've uh, tried recently is very good for dry skin i would say on me it just looks very dewy but if you have uh, dry skin i would suggest you that as well i will do a comparison video of that so be on a lookout for that okay so the next thing which i've been reaching out the most is this um, now again you don't necessarily have to have this particular brand if you have any brown pencil i think this is the best time to use it you know during this time um, if you follow me on snapchat every time i would um, do makeup 
during my exam time this is what i have been wearing this is what i have on my eyes right now now why i think this is the best to use during this time you know during the very hot and humid climate is because if you love using kajal uh, if you are a kajal person you are just habituated to line your eyes you know upper lash line or even lower lash line i think this is a good option because this does not look as harsh firstly it 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 does define your eyes as you can see but it does not look very harsh on the eyes and the next thing which i find this more suitable for during this time is because it does not it does smudge okay it does fade but it does not look that bad when it smudges you know if you use a black kajal oh, the the way it looks after it smudges is just too bad it smudges everywhere and then you are just left with such darkness underneath your eyes and even if you have sweaty eyelids so kajal just transfers over here um however with this it does not look like that it does not look that devastating when it smudges you might be having any brown kajal in your collection already so i think this is the best time to use this kajal okay so the next product is i would say this is something you have to try to understand and to believe it now this is the first makeup setting spray which i have used i used to think that i don't really require makeup setting spray for some reason um i used to be like okay i am using a primer and then i'm using a long wear foundation so what's the whole point but no 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 i have been loving this this is my first makeup setting spray and this just makes me want to try different makeup setting spray from other brands as well but i will do that once i finish with this i don't want to waste this you know i'm such sort of a person who cannot buy certain makeup in certain categories once i'm done with this i wouldn't buy a mascara unless i'm finished with the one i'm currently using however with concealers it is completely different like i am a concealer junkie i would collect concealers no matter if i have five concealers which i haven't even used why am i talking about that anyways okay so what was i talking about yeah um so now this this does help your makeup to last longer this is makeup fixer by oh of course i forgot the name of the brand i forgot to mention the name of the brand this is by glam girls and this is their makeup fixer mist and fix um this is enriched with vitamin e and it says light on the skin now i love this for two reasons one um once you spray this on and you go ahead with your beauty blender um everything just looks so flawless and seamless you know like for example i used highlighter today and you cannot even tell okay maybe you can because of course i wouldn't shine this much naturally but everything just looks seamless once uh, you use this and you go ahead with your beauty blender um same is the case when you use a translucent powder or any powder for that matter when you use any powder to set your face your face might look very powdery and then this is what has been helping me a lot i just you know spray this and everything looks seamless um i know i'm just repeating the same thing but um yes this has been quite a game changer for me um i never knew that this could bring like such a huge difference in my makeup altogether now things look you know much blended in my makeup looks more skin like if that makes sense but with this one once i spray it on uh, my face feels a little bit tacky and it feels a little bit um tight so it you know makes my skin feel a little bit tight almost for like around a minute and after that the tackiness goes away but um yeah the tackiness just completely goes away after like one or two minutes maximum uh, but i do believe that this does make my uh, makeup last longer as you can see i've finished up till here and you don't require a lot again now i would say though that this one kind of adds a little bit of dewiness to your skin you can see i look quite dewy today so if you don't like that sort of a finish at the end of your makeup i wouldn't recommend this particular one i know there are many brands who do um, matte makeup fixers i think you can go for those as well but again i'm not a person who hates dewiness i don't like looking matte so this one works well for me and i'm really excited to try out um, makeup fixers from other brands so i would highly suggest you 
to invest in any makeup fixer for that matter not just this um, you know this is the one I have been using okay so the last two bits are skincare items and again these are very basic um, I'm just kind of like talking about it so that you guys know about it no not really know about it but you guys are aware that yes this is one item you should use kind of more during this time you know so the product which I'm talking about is a scrub now you can use any scrub any scrub which is your favorite all I'm saying is kind of make it a habit to use it at least twice at least twice every week or if you have extremely oily skin just make it a point to use it thrice now, I have um, normal to oily skin so I scrub twice a week um, so the one I have been loving and I've been loving this for like very long period of time is this one this is by Neutrogena this is their deep clean blackhead eliminating daily scrub I use many scrubs you know like I gave this a break for like two to three months and then I'm again back to this this is how much I like it this says it comes with blackhead uh, fighting complex and I don't know what is in it but I feel like this helps to kind of like take care of my t-zone i have oily t-zone so this is one of the best scrubs which i've tried so far from the drugstore and this works great for me and the last product is the most obvious one i saved the most obvious one for the last because because i didn't want to talk about this in the very beginning we just we all just know about it right it is a sunscreen now I wouldn't recommend this one um, it's just that I've run out of all the different sunscreens which I use I have run out of my Neutrogena one I've run out of my Lotus one I do need to go and repurchase my sunscreens which I use the most now this one I've already talked about it this is kind of oily that's why I'm not recommending it um, so yes sunscreen very important at all times throughout the year all the seasons um, summer has to be the most important seasons when you just cannot skip sunscreen so fifth item is definitely a sunscreen do not skip on your sunscreen even if it is cloudy you have to have your sunscreen on please 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 <laughs> listen from me because I am the best person to preach this I've already mentioned it I have um, quite a few sunspots on my nose uh, because of not being serious about sunscreen and now I'm so serious I just not very serious but I'm trying to be very serious you know so yes the fifth item is the most obvious one it is sunscreen don't skip your sunscreen if you have any makeup product which you love using the most at this time um, leave it in the comment section below um, it would be a great help I would definitely love to try out those um, these were the products which I love this time of the year you know um that's about it i hope you guys found this video helpful and i'll see you guys in my next video bye